I felt threatened. I felt like if I didn't do it, that consequences were going to happen. A smart meter standoff. A Northern California man tells PG&E it cannot install a smart meter on his home, ordering a worker off his property. So what happens now? Those smart meters are the source of thousands of consumer complaints. KCRA 3 has learned the property owners actually may have the option of refusing to have those meters installed. Wal Gray is here now to explain what will happen next if you choose to do that. Golston Eady, PG&E is having a tough time getting customers to believe that smart meters are not overcharging them. So what happens when PG&E rings your doorbell and forcefully says it's time to install one? I did feel threatened, I, I, and I'm not afraid of the guy, but I am afraid of big corporation PG&E shutting down my business by shutting my power off. Like many, Brad White is worried that a malfunctioning smart meter will jack up his bill. When a PG&E contractor showed up to install a smart meter unannounced, White threw him out. He said, are you declining? I said, yeah. He goes, okay. But the next person that shows up will be PG&E. And they won't be so understanding. Now, I took that as a threat. So what did you say? Did you kick them out? I showed them the gate. PG&E has been installing smart meters since 2006. Five and a half million of them. They say only one percent of malfunctions. PG&E wants everyone to get one. But ultimately, if you don't want one, we'll work with them on a case-by-case -case basis. Really, listen. We're going to try really hard to look at issues through our customers. Perspective. Mark Tony is with TURN, the utility reform network. He says PG&E needs to get their act together. We're fighting for a moratorium on smart meters. We think PG&E, with all its problems, should take a time out and stop putting in these meters. Can you imagine PG&E removing already installed smart meters? Again, it's the, the best and first step for any customer, no matter what their issue or what they want or what their concerns are is to call us. For now, Brad White's power is measured on the old meter. He's waiting to see who shows up next from PG&E to find out what they have planned for him. Wait till the smart meter's great, then install it and you won't see me on camera again. If you already have a smart meter, it's staying. If your bill has been high, call PG&E. They say they're testing smart meters to make sure they're accurate. And if you don't have a smart meter yet and you don't want one, PG&E will not cut off your power. It's the newer, more customer-friendly Pacific Gas and Electric. Gulston?